what are the chances that Sam and I will be able to keep the baby? Well, the courts favor the birth mother. Um, the best way to keep hope is to convince Bridget to go through with the adoption. Find someone she trusts to talk to her on your behalf. Jason and I are getting married. Did you and Jason decide to go marry before or after Bridget wanted her before, baby back? Before. Jason wants to be with me. Courtney, you need to let go. I know exactly what you're doing with Jason, and it's not going to work. Thank you. Bridget's been living on the street. Mm -hmm. So there's only one person I can think of that she trusts, and, and that would be my ex-wife, Courtney. She runs a foundation for kids who have no place to go. She's the one who gave Bridget a place to live. Are you sure it's over between you and Courtney? Yeah. Does she feel the same way? She was kind of upset when she realized Sam and I were together. But is it possible that she's manipulating the situation, encouraging uh, Bridget to reclaim the baby in the hopes that maybe you and Miss McCall split up? No, I don't think so. Good. Then maybe she'll lobby Bridget on your behalf. Courtney might be the best way for you to keep the baby. You're playing on Jason's sympathy. More than anything, he feels sorry for you. No, Jason wants to be with me, and taking hope away is not going to change that. Look, I had nothing to do with Bridget backing out of the adoption. I can't believe you're still going to deny it. Bridget was sure about giving us hope until she moved in here with you. Well, she changed her mind. She has that right. She can't care for hope, Courtney. Are you sure you can? Is that what you told her, that I wasn't fit oh, to be a mother? On. I never said one word against you. All right, Bridget barely knows you. It is perfectly reasonable that she would have second thoughts. And you encouraged her, didn't you? I mean, you would do anything to get Jason back. That's how it is, right? <sighs> wow. You, you know, you don't know anything about my marriage to Jason. Actually, I do. I mean, I, I know that you left him. I know that you promised that you would be able to accept him, his life, the chances he took, and then you backed out. I know that much. That doesn't mean that I didn't love him. All I'm trying to say here is that Jason and I have a chance to be happy if you would please stop interfering. Look, if we're going to be honest, why don't you start? Admit Jason is nothing but your latest scam. No, what Jason and I feel for each other is real. So you're saying you've changed, Sam? I mean, you're not about living off other people, looking for your next mark, an easy score. I don't know. Oh, the hell you don't. You have been manipulating Jason for months now because you know he is loyal and generous and he won't back out once he commits to someone, even if he has to suffer for Oh, it. trust me, Jason is not suffering. <sighs> oh, wow. So you're using sex to get what you want now? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I'm surprised, really. I mean, you, you slept with Jax to chase after some stupid treasure, right? And then you moved in on Sunny while he was still married. What Jason and I have is more than sex. Yeah, it was supposed to be about a baby. Okay, that's how you roped him in. Well, your little girl is gone now, Sam, and there is no way I'm gonna let you use an innocent child to trap Jason in some marriage of convenience. Courtney, that's enough. Let's go, Sam, we're leaving. Jason, wait, just let me explain. This is a bad time. Hey, she tried to accuse me of sabotaging the adoption, all right? And I lost my temper. So you, sorry. you accuse her of using her child? She loved that little girl. So did I. Tell me. No, seriously, We're are back. we going to talk about this? Okay, why'd you go over Courtney's? Because I think she's the reason Bridget changed her mind. Why? You heard her, Jason. She thinks we're together for the baby. And if she she thinks that if Bridget takes the baby back, then we're not going to be together anymore, and she's going to have another chance with you. No, so I that's... think that's it, Sam. Well, I disagree. She is still in love with you. She thinks I am not good enough for you. She lost her temper. So did I. I am sorry you had to walk in on that, but I am not sorry I went over there. So what if it got ugly? Sam, we can't push Courtney anymore. We need her help to adopt Hope. No legal way 
to force Bridget to let us adopt Hope. The best we can get is protective custody, and that's even if we can prove that Bridget is unfit to raise this baby. Oh, come on, Jason, that shouldn't be hard. She gave birth in a diner. She's on drugs or was on drugs. She's practically Sam, homeless. that's not the problem. If we go to court, they're going to evaluate us as parents. I've never been convicted, but... You know, I have multiple arrests. I've been hospitalized for a gunshot wound. The no, list just I know. goes I, I on. I have arrests too, but Jason, if Jordan was good enough to get Sunny custody, I think she might be good enough to do something Jordan, for us. Jordan already has a plan, but it doesn't involve going to court. I don't understand. We need Bridget to change her mind and agree to the adoption. The problem is she doesn't. I mean, she doesn't really know us. I don't think she knows anyone well, in yes, town, she does. Jason. And she trusts Courtney. Courtney, yeah, who talked her out of giving us the baby in the first place. St Sam, you gotta stop with no, that. No, Jason, I know you want to think the best of Courtney, but she is not herself right now. You're moving on with your life. You're getting married. She's freaking out. Okay. Don't you realize you, you that? Know what? Maybe she is a little bit, but she wouldn't hurt her child, and she knows that Hope is better off with us than with Bridget. Okay, so you want us to ask Courtney for help? I think it's our best chance of keeping this baby. You know, if Courtney is our best chance to keep hope, we are going to have to ask for help. Jason, I am just not sure. <sighs> She's going to give it to us. Well, all we can do is ask. Are you mad at me for going over there? I understand. I just wish you hadn't. No, I'm just, I'm really sorry. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe if she knew that we were getting married that she would back off or... <laughs> I know you're scared. And I know that you already love Hope and you don't want to lose her. You know, fear makes, makes it hard to think clearly, but the best way to fight for Hope is just stay calm. Like you. I'm trying. Okay. Okay, from now on, We'll do it your way. Then I'm going to call Courtney.